Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Goody. I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine and surgery and today I'm presenting a case which was sent to me by one of the doctors from India about quite an interesting situation. This is a 24 year old woman who is coming in for IVF. She had two cycles of clomiphene. I'm not certain if she had regular or irregular periods and ovulated twice. After that, she had in a right ovary a 6 into 4 centimeter cyst which was persistent. If you have a look at her uh, levels, her FSH is 8, her AMH is 7.3 nanogram. She was given withdrawal bleed and a withdrawal bleed did not work. If you have a look at the scan findings now, you will see a multicystic ovary. I'm not entirely certain if it's a multicystic. I think this ovary has a very good uh, follicle account. Couple that with a very good AMH level, and it could be, I would say, slightly a PCOM morphology. A withdrawal bleed failed in this case. Her E2 levels were 32.95, signifying a low E2. I believe that there was no blood flow around the follicle. If you have a look at the video, which is also accompanies this teaching, you will see that that cyst clearly originates from the ovary and has a very good antral follicle count. Now the question asked is, should we aspirate the cyst or should we not aspirate the cyst? Let's look at it, why the withdrawal did not work. Now withdrawal works if there is adequate estrogen in the system. And that is when a progesterone withdrawal works. In this case, the estrogen in the system is low. Once again, signifying that that cyst is non-hormonal in nature. It could have started as a hormonally active cyst, but at present it is not hormonal activated by hormones. A part of the cyst is irregular, signifying a resolution that is coming on. Her endometrium is 5.4, reasonably thin, indicating that there is no adequate estrogen activity. What are the options that we have? We have two options here. One, can we give her the oral contraceptive pill? And the second, can we start treatment? Is there a role for draining the cyst? And the answer is yes, there is a role for draining the cyst. Yes, there's a role of draining the cyst. But I, I doubt if it gives an adequate amount of benefit in stimulation. You have two options here. I, I'll leave the draining of the, of the cyst to the doctor. I have nothing against or for it. I think there is a role for it. But I don't think that generally affects the uh, the treatment in this case. I would suggest that if you are planning to go in for a fresh cycle, then there is a role of get, putting this patient on a pre-treatment of the oral contraceptive pill. The only reason being that the endometrium in this case is probably out of sync. And unless you are planning to freeze the embryos, I do not think starting makes much sense in this case. In my situation I would decide to start stimulating straight away with a slightly smaller dose of medications. I would do her LH first. The reason is I need to know if the pituitary is in, intact and it's we will be able to give an unlock trigger. I am quite certain that this patient would overstimulate on HMG. My reason of using HMG is twofold. One is if you look at the theca element, the theca element is not extensive and whenever the theca element is not extensive it may be better. We may be missing a small number of hypohypox. And I tend to prefer moving to using HMG rather than using a recombinant. Also doing an LH will give you a much better idea of whether we move to an analog trigger and that would be reasonable. If you're planning to freeze the embryos, I don't think there's a need to either aspirate assist or give her the pill, you can start stimulating straight away. That the cyst is avascular and the estrogen are low, both signify that it is unlikely to be stimulated with the stimulation of the ovary. 
there are cases of persistence of, of follicular cyst with estrogen levels which are mildly swinging in the mid phase where I would generally suggest that aspirating a cyst may be helpful. But in the past many years, it is very unlike I have moved over to aspirating less and less cysts because quite often you'll be able to say if the cyst will respond or will not respond. And that is based on its vascularity and also with its estrogen, both giving an indication whether this the cyst will work, uh, will uh, stimulate or not. Uh, having looked at the scan, I think it's reasonable to either put the, the patient on the pill considering that if you want to do a fresh cycle or to start the stimulation and consider freezing. Thank you very much for this case.